Oh, that must be some read. Tracy's book. I'll let your hair curl. Oh, give us a butcher's then. Yours is curly enough. <laughs> uh, you've got to remember, it is just fiction, ladies. I don't care. Must have Gustav. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope that thing goes fast. Are you threatening me? You'd know if I was. Look, how's any of this going to help Kyle? Like she cares about Kyle. It's because I care that I put social services in the picture about you. And now he's living with strangers. I might not be Mary Poppins, but I know worse mother than me when I see one. How could you let him just take him? Hey, don't we have a go at it? It's your mother's fault for sticking to Billy. She's no mother of mine. Well, look, are you going to help her get him back or not? <clears throat> Pigs are giddy today. I'm glad somebody is. We will get Kyle home, Mum. Oh, I can't see it. Not with your dad being no... Poor little mite. Who knows where he's woken up this morning? Mm. Oh, that's right, just slope off. Huh? I'm not sloping anywhere. I'm going to work. Just like that. No worries or concerns about your little grandson. Well, of course I'm concerned. But social services are sorting this. And when they do, they'll realise that Kerry is his best option. You believe that, do you? i got to go. What if they adopt him out? We'll probably never see him again. Dad won't let that happen. Won't he? She's going to rub you. She doesn't love anyone except the little mix. <laughs> oh, it lives then. Shut up. You get that away from me. Oh. <laughs> Happy belated. What? Could you tell your face to smile? It's been all over sorting these. Well, she could be a bit more grateful. Open them yet? No, I mean for yesterday. When we home. Who's gonna look after me when you're inside? Liv, you've got my mum and Robert. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, but are you? What if you can't hack it and top yourself? Like Dad. Oh, look what Granny's done. Who can these be for? Me, I have to guess. Wrong. They're all for Jack. Only pulling your leg. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be having too much sugar. And she likes you already. You don't need to do this. Nice work with social services, Faith. I was only trying to help. That Kerry couldn't look after a pot plant. What have you done? Kyle got taken into care last night. Your dad didn't look too happy earlier. Oh, really? Well, I'm not surprised. Hey, up. Oh. Look what Granny Faith got me. Oh, wow, well, if I knew we were playing by the grandchild. <laughs> can Granny Faith come to the hospital when my treatment starts? Of course I can. Oi, what about me? Or is it all new Granny on the block now? But can she, Mum? Yeah, well, you know, we'll wait and see. Try keeping me away. I want to see my money making you better, lady. <laughs> it will go fast. I'll be home before you know it. You don't even know how long you've got. Look, Liv, I, I know I've messed up big time, but... I just need to know that you're not going to do anything daft. You're all I've got here. That's not true. And I have been inside before, you know, I, I can handle it. Really? I've heard what they do to gay lads, and if they Liv. find out what dad was, and it could make it Why worse. Why would they find out? They just will, and... Live enough, OK? 
I'm gonna be fine. She's been like this for days. Tap, tap, tap. I can't get a word out of her. Oh, it's good that she's so industrious. Hey, <laughs> who would have thought she had a book in her? We've all got books in us, <laughs> apparently. Doesn't mean they're worth reading. Hey, bit harsh. Ignore him, he's sulking. Only because she won't let me read it. Because it's not for you. It's for a very particular readership. I might be your readership. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Trust me. Where are you going? To find my floor. You're blocking me. <laughs> You got the next chapter. Oh, patience, Nicola. Oh. Seriously, you've just come in for that. Well, why else? Uh, because I've got two for one on corned beef and loo cleaner. <laughs> oh, David. No wonder she had to come up with a gorgeous Gustav if that's what turns you on. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm a complete idiot. I'm an absolute first class fruit loop. Hey, leave the name calling to me. I've only got an ordered 50 bottles of gin instead of five. They'll come in useful then, won't they? Especially living here. <sighs> Sorry, what can I get it for you? Um, I think I'll have a little bit of honesty, please. No, oh, Pammy, please don't make me talk because I'm going to cry all over you. Talk. Well, it, it's Aaron, isn't it? I'm, he's going to be banged up in a couple of days. Pint, wasn't it? Yeah. Chaz, Chaz. Where are you going? For a run, if that's all right. Hey, Aaron, I've just seen Ronnie. He's promised he'll have the place finished by the time you're out. Oh, my. Well, everyone stop going on about prison. We're not. Aaron? Chaz. Chaz. It's just one run. He won't get a chance to overdo it. Just let him work it out. Double sausage, brown sauce. Didn't ask for it. Tough. You've been snapping all morning. A little bit of food might do you good. Or you could just talk about it. Look, I know how much this kid means to us. I know how much this has thrown you, but... What am I supposed to do, eh? Kerry messed it up by shooting her mouth off. Yeah. None of this would happen if your mother hadn't put the boot in. Look, Kerry cried herself to sleep last night. And we can't just let him be fostered out. What did your dad say? Maybe the three of us could bring him up. My dad doesn't want to know. It's not like Zach. Can't you just... Dan, why don't you just get on with your job? Or do you fancy a little trip down the door office? Cheers. Oh, I can't remember the last time I cried at work. I cry all the time when I get a bit. Does Bill do that often? Only when I nick a jelly babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be so quiet without them. Yeah. But you'll cope. You always do. All that stuff between him and his dad. Live coming back. Ooh, it's been a lot to deal with. You're telling me. You didn't choose any of it either. You might have chosen the maniac boyfriends, like, but. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where we'd be now if you hadn't, you know. Probably heading for the divorce courts with half a dozen kids around her ankles. <laughs> Guess we'll never know. <laughs> right, well, getting back to my original point, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine throughout the whole of this because you are the unsinkable chastity dingle. Oh, right. Um, <clears throat> am I supposed to be offended or flattered? Flattered. Always flattered. You... You're just the best woman I know. Jazz, no, I, shh, I, I, shh, shh. Brilliant.
Only run if you're being chased, is what I always say. Breathe into that. Right, right. Love. I may not have much to offer as your granny, but I got big ears and broad shoulders. I've messed everything up to live. I'm the one bit of security she's gotten. And then I'm gonna go to jail in a couple of days. Well, we call that union, our family. We learn more there than anywhere. What you been inside? Hmm? Ran off with the catalogue money. <laughs> I was top dog, mind. I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it together for everyone, but you're scared. <laughs> yeah, I think that's normal. But if you can look on the bright side. Is the one? You'll be back quick as a flash, and it'll be as if you've never been away. My granny, eh? Top dog. Uh, yeah, well, OK. Second to top dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Take me for a gin. Come on. Woo! Come on, then. <laughs> Forward! <laughs> Say what you've got to say. I don't want him being bounced around. Not after losing Johnny as well. Kane, he is your lad. No, I, I don't want him going in care any more than anyone else. But me and Lisa have got a lot of stuff to sort. And having Kyle. Well, well, so you're just going to give up on him, are you? Just like that? No. I could ask you the same question. I know this sounds like a bit of an excuse, but, um... He deserves better than me. <laughs> and you reckon I'm it? You've done so much more for him than I have. <sighs> I've done a lot of bad things as a father, as well you know. I've made my mistakes with Kyle as well, and I can't afford to make any more. If he comes to me, I... You know what my life is like. I'd mess him up. Maybe if I was still with more of them. You might surprise yourself. It's not like I don't want to be there for him. I just... I just don't want him relying on me. I think too much of him for that. He's a grand little fella. Maybe getting away from me is the best thing for him. <sighs> but then I don't... I don't want him to go into care either. Look, you're not a bad dad, Kane. Eh? Not really. You're better. Well, maybe if we both try to do things differently this time, between us, maybe we could pull something out of the bag. Gustav swept in. Sweeping her up into his tender, manly embrace. He sweeps flipping everywhere, this fella. Maybe he should stick a broom up his rear end. Then he can make himself really useful. Oh, he's making himself useful, all right, believe me. No wonder she didn't want me to read it. <laughs> Are you a tad insecure? No, I... I, I... Oi, Teeley. Uh, I haven't finished yet. Mm. I'd have thought you'd have read enough. Meaning? Well, think about it. They say you should only write what you know. And? Well, if Gustav isn't you... <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, it clearly isn't. <laughs> then who's giving her sweet inspiration? <laughs> Jazz! Wait. Um, thank you. Seriously? You're thanking me? Yeah. No. Are we all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I won't be. <laughs> Aaron, what's happened? You look wiped out. 
just had a bit of a do. What's all for doing? I'm fine. Stop fussing. You're shaking. I scraped him up off the pavement. He had an attack of the prison blues, but I've given him some tips. Work for your charms on all your grandkids now, are you? That's a good job on wise to her tricks, isn't it? Mum. Well, at least I was there for him when he needed me. Where were you today? Like I need to ask. No. Chaz! I wouldn't have thought it'd be your time. Paddy, will you get her out of here, please? No, Mum, she's fine. If I get her a double gin on me. Huh? Any time, son. Any time. Oh! Thought you were busy building your wall. Yeah, well, I decided to clock off early. Uh, sit down, love. Eh? Why has something happened? It's not Kyle, is it? I've phoned social services. They're coming round for a chat. I've said that I want Kyle to live with us. Yay! See, Mum, I told you. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what on earth made you change your mind? I'll admit that I was scared about putting him first. I, I thought that it might make it harder between us, you know. You know how I feel about him. Yeah. But it is what you want. Yeah, we all do. More than anything. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that woman is a menace. Are you sure you're OK? So, you and Paddy? Don't change the subject. I just said I don't want a big deal-making, Mum. Beating yourself up won't help anyone. Liv is a nervous wreck. You know, she's terrified of me topping myself inside. She said that. She should be feeling secure and safe and, and loved. And what am I doing apart from forgetting her birthday and going to prison? We will look out for her. Of course we will. But you know what she's like, and anyway, she's my responsibility. Ours. Yeah, right, all you do is wind her up. <sighs> Look, I know you'll keep an eye out for us, but you'll be busy getting on with your own lives. You reckon? I thought we were a family. The only family she's got is going to prison. Why didn't you tell Granny Faye if she could come to the hospital appointment with us? Come and sit with me. It's not because I don't like Granny Faith. Lots of people don't. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, as it happens, I actually think she's OK. But we need to keep you going into hospital a secret. Why? Because the treatment that you need is in Prague, and that's abroad. I know where Prague is. How long do we have to go for? Oh, a few weeks. But we just don't need to tell anybody, OK? Because they're only going to worry. Because the police told you not to go anywhere. It's going to be our little secret. <laughs> Nothing. It's going to stop you from getting this treatment, OK? I promise. So, as I said, um, Kyle is absolutely fine. He's very settled and he's staying with a really lovely foster family in Harrogate. Oh, that's good. He'll come back talking like little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> <laughs> eh? You see, um, the thing is, Linda, Oh, yeah, we've had a chat, me and Lisa, and, well, it seems like we had crosswires. We would love to have Kyle living with us. Yeah, you see, I, I said no because I thought we were a bit past it, like. But now our cane is doing his bit. So, well, in fact, he's on his way round now to tell you himself. <laughs> so we could go and pick the little one up now, if you like. Um, well, I, I'm afraid it's not that simple. Um... The parental order's being processed, but, um, well, it hasn't been approved by the family court. Oh, right. What does that mean? Well, you could apply for a temporary order in the meanwhile until a final decision gets made, but um, even that could take some time. So you mean we might not even get him anywhere? Well, I don't want to worry you, but until the matter's been reviewed properly, I can't say either way. 
So Cain didn't kick off, but he didn't say that he was going to get Kyle back either. Well, I know he was there one minute and then he was gone, just like that. You can have us another. Might as well make the most of it, eh? Oh, great, cheers. Grab us a death row plowman's way, right? <laughs> Him again. Which one's getting all edgy? Yeah, because he's worried about you. Feels bad enough about this as it is. Yeah, and I'm worried about him. And me. You're not gonna send me back to Mum's, are you? No, of course not. I'll look after you with Chaz. You're not my stepdad. Why is everyone doubting that I'm capable of looking after a teenager? I mean, I brought up Lachlan, more or less. Yeah, and look how well he turned out. <laughs> It's gonna be hard for him, isn't it? Being worried about Liv, life going on without him. Well, my life's gonna be on hold just like his. Well, he won't think that, will he? Robert Sugden, the great philanderer. He's worried about Liv, not me. No, and you. I know him, Robert. What do I do to make him feel secure? And Liv? <sighs> You're asking the wrong person. Right, well. Tell me if this is mad. I know it won't be official, but what if? Go on. I make us a proper family. By doing what? We get married. Tomorrow, before he goes to prison. <laughs> you are joking, right? I've never been more serious in my life. We'll back one of the last remaining places on The Voice UK tomorrow. The final blind auditions are new at eight. Next, though, Bethany's got some tough decisions to make. Lying to the police, though, might be one she's just not prepared to make in our first trip to Coronation Street tonight. <laughs>